Now we're going to go into ohm load and impedance. What is ohm load? The law of ohm is the impedance level that a speaker or amplifier set on. So when you see one ohm, it's a mono block, and that means it's stable to one ohm. So say if you took two four ohm drivers, two speakers, you put four and four together, that divides into two. You put two into a four ohm amp output on a bridge load, and it's going to go to two. Some amplifiers are only two ohm stable stereo and they might be 4 ohm stable mono and then there's 8 ohm amplifiers that are 4 ohm mono stable stereo stable that means that with a mono block you might have a little more flexibility but actually in actuality sound usually sounds better at a higher ohm load because the dampening factor is higher there's more controllability in the sound there's more response um, ohm load determines also and usually how much heat the higher you build heat the sound quality goes down, but for bass, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have to be as defined. That doesn't go for everybody now. There's people that are more of a freak than I am that want to have 4 ohm clean, crystal clean bass where you can hear the shadows and echoes of someone stepping. And I am that way too, but just trying to give you a basic overview. So this amplifier here is not 1 ohm stable. So if you try to hook up woofers to this, say you try to put, mm, I don't know, two woofers per channel on this at a 4 ohm load each, that would be 4 and 4, 2 and 2, 2 on 2, it would be 1. And what would happen was this amp would heat up and it would go into protect. That's where the amplifier will say, uh-uh, you're not doing this to me. I'm, I'm turning off right now because if you continue to run me like this, I will burn up and die from heat. While on the other hand, this Zapco 6 channel, every single output on this amplifier is 1 ohm stable. 2 ohm recommended, but it is 1 ohm stable on every channel. And it dissipates heat differently. There's an intake and exhaust fan. It doesn't have a solid state power supply. It has bipolars, a stacked board. So this amp's equipped to handle abuse. But it doesn't like it, but, and it might and it hinder the sound quality somewhat. But if you want to be the psycho that's going to run four six and a halfs per channel or three twelves per channel or two, whatever you can make as long as you keep the formula intact below, you know, above one ohm, then I guess you want to be a Frankenstein. You can. So that's a little overview over ohm loads and impedance.